Good morning and when today. This is your brother, your friend, Prophet Alan Jomba from Open Heavens Ministry of Jesus and Heavens TV. I'm here to talk to you again about our guest house. Now, by God's grace, we have a place where we can accommodate you from all over the world as you come to seek the face of God in our ministry to attend Sunday service and also to see me, the servant of God, one-on-one. -on -one. Now, this is a wonderful place that God gave us to be holy ground. People have been coming and people have been blessed. People have come from all over the world and have received miracles, signs and wonders, transformations in their lives. By God's grace, I want to show you a video of an international guest. This brother of ours came from Tanzania. And uh, he came afflicted. Works of darkness, witchcraft was working against him. Anytime he would be close to a breakthrough, he would scratch his hands. And after scratching his hands, the whole thing would scatter. Now by God's grace, Joseph had came. Stayed at the guest house, attended service, and I prayed for him one on one. God did miracles. He was powerfully delivered. And after one month, he came to testify that money is now coming without hindrance. Things have changed and breakthrough has become part of his life. Remember, our guest house is in Nairobi, Westlands Mountain View. He said, and uh, the number is on your screen. If you'd like to come and see me one-on-one, -on -one, you'd like to come and partake of the blessings of God, make sure you call the number on your screen before you embark on your journey so that we give you the proper instructions and we'll be expecting you. You might come without calling us and you find the place full. So you must come, we arrange, we'll be expecting you and you'll be given full instructions of how you're supposed to come, behave and whatever cost is involved. There's a slight cost just to take care of your food and uh, to pay the people working there, and you will be blessed. Now, by God's grace, let us see what God is doing and make your own move of faith. Come see me. I will pray for you. It is free. We don't charge. Freely Jesus is given. Freely we give. Mass in favor, we locate you in Jesus' name. Good morning, everyone. Today, keep watching Heaven's TV. guest at the church accommodation so now he's about to go and we are praying for him and praying for him the final prayers and delivering him he used to be a senior government official back in his country but then fell now he's come to seek the face of god and god is faithful god is merciful Nakukaribisha sana kwa jina la Yesu tafadhali kanieleze majina yako na umetoka wapi Amina mimi naitwa Josephat Mushumbusi nimetoka mm -hmm. Mwanza Tanzania Na uliweza kujua je kanisa hii ya Open Heavens Ministry Open Heaven Ministry na mtumishi Alan Jomba mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Prophet Alan Jomba nimeweza mm. kumfahamu kupitia mm -hmm. YouTube mm -hmm. nikiwa nafuatilia mafundisho yake mm -hmm. kwa muda kwa kweli. Sasa ningependa pia ukaweza kutueleza ni shida gani ambayo ilikufanya ukaweza kufika mahali hapa na kumuona mtumishi wa Mungu kwa maombi. Nimekuwa na, na mambo mengi mm -hmm. lakini kwa ujumla nimekuwa nakutana na ya limitations. Mm -hmm in progress mm -hmm. stagnation mm -hmm. lakini pia mm -hmm. failure mm -hmm. at the point of breakthrough mm hivyo -hmm. kwa hiyo nimekuwa vikinikabili na unaposema failure at the point of breakthrough unamaanisha nini ni nini ambacho hakikwa kinafanyika katika maisha yako ni nimekutana hiyo katika nyanja mm -hmm. tofauti mm -hmm. katika eneo la kazi mm -hmm. katika biashara zangu mm -hmm. na shughuli zangu zingine mm -hmm. mtumishi alipokuwa na kuombea aliweza kusema ya kwamba ulikuwa mtu mkubwa katika taifa lako tafadhali tueleze pia eh, ni, ni kweli nimeshakuwa mm -hmm. ni senior mm -hmm. official government official mm -hmm. katika pale Tanzania katika mm -hmm. taasisi ya Tanzania mhm mm moja taasisi ya Tanzania mm -hmm ikametokea ika tatizo mm. nikaan nimesimama kazi mm. kwa muda wa miaka sita sasa mm -hmm. lakini pia nimekuwa mm -hmm. nikishughulisha na shughuli za kilimo mm -hmm. lakini nimekuwa nikifanya lakini wakati nataka kufanya vizuri mm -hmm. inatokea kitu mm -hmm. vitu vinavyologika mm -hmm. na hii imechukua umesema ya kwamba imechukua muda gani ni miaka sita miaka sasa sita mpaka sasa, sasa. Ni, Ningependa pia ukaweza kutueleza mtumishi pia alipokuwa na kuombea alitoa neno la unabii na akaweza kusema ya kwamba kuna mahali ulienda na mtu akaweza kukushika kichwa na vile ambavyo alikushika hivi kichwa kila kitu yako ikaenda tafadhali ungependa kusema aje kuhusu nabii ni kweli mm -hmm. alivyosema hata mm -hmm. kati anasema pale sikuwa nimekumbuka sababu ni kipindi kirefu mm -hmm. lakini nakumbuka kweli kuna wakati alini mtu alielekea mkono kichwani mm -hmm. sikujua kama kinatokea kitu kama hivyo mm -hmm. lakini pia nakumbuka mm -hmm. kuna wakati pia alishaikuja ndege mm -hmm. mwewe siji mm -hmm. kwa mnahitaji huko mm -hmm. aka pita kwenye kichwa changu mm -hmm. akanikwalua mm -hmm. aka ametoka mm -hmm. hivyo sikuona kama ni, ni tatizo ni kitu cha kawaida tu mm -hmm. mm -hmm. ningependa pia ukaweza kutueleza mtumishi alipokuwa na kuombea leona pale uliweza mpaka kuanguka chini na nguvu za Mungu zikaweza kukushukia kwa njia kuu sana tafadhali tueleze nini ambacho kilikuwa kinafanyika wakati huo kwa kweli sikumbuki si, si na sifahamu mm -hmm. niacho kumbuka tu ni mtumishi alinishika mkono wakati anaanza kuniombea mm -hmm. na baadaye nikaona ananiambia ninyanyuke mm -hmm tayari mm -hmm. imefunguliwa. Ungependa kuambia Mungu nini kwa kukuponya, kwa kukukomboa na hata kukurejesha? Nina ninamshukuru Mungu sana mm -hmm. na nitaendelea kumtumikia mm -hmm. na kumwamini mm -hmm. kwa kuwa nimeona uaminifu wake mm -hmm. na matendo yake makuu juu yangu. Haleluya. Lakini kuna kitu kingine ninapenda niweze kukisema mm -hmm. kwa nimesema. Mm -hmm. ni, ni hili ni pia katika kipindi hicho nimetokea mm -hmm. pia nikiwa napata tatizo la mkono wangu mm -hmm. kuwa na nikiwa natarajia kupata fedha mm -hmm. ninatokea na blisters mm -hmm. katika mkono. Katika mkono. Na hizi ni zilitokea karibuni wakati natarajia kupata fedha. Mm -hmm nikakuna zikazimepasuka zikatoka ni nilianza ku experience mm -hmm. tangu 2017 na inapofanyika ni nini ambacho sasa kinakufanyikia wewe mwenyewe inakuwa ni inakuwa ni, ni na, mara wakati mwingine inakuwa naingia kwenye maombi sana mm -hmm. lakini mm -hmm. kile kinachokuja kukipata mm -hmm. ni kile ambacho sikitarajia hasa mm -hmm. kwenye kiwango cha fedha hata mm -hmm. hata fanikio la jambo fulani mm -hmm. inatokea kitu kinapata tofauti na hivyo kwa natarajia mm -hmm. yeah. The master deliverer is still alive and his name is Jesus Christ. After his miraculous deliverance, Mr. Jehoshaphat lived and walked in the light of his testimony. One month later, he came back to open heaven's ministry to thank God for delivering and restoring his life. Let's listen to his testimony. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi naitwa Josephat Mushumbusi natoka Tanzania Mwanza. Ushuhuda wangu ni huu. Nilikuja kama ni mwezi na wiki sasa zimepita, nilikuwa nina shida na mkono wangu huu wa kulia. Nilikuwa nikipata promise ya pesa ama pesa ilikuwa inataka kuja kwangu, mkono unawasha, zinatokea blisters nyingi sana kwenye mkono. Lakini pia hata pesa ikija inakuja ambavyo sikutarajia. Lakini baada ya kuja na mtumishi wangu kuniombea Nimeenda nimerudi nyumbani. Nimepata pesa mara ya kwanza. Sikuwashwa mkono lakini hiyo sikujua. Nimekuja kupata pesa mara ya pili 
sikuwashwa mkono ndio akili kaludi kaniambia tatizo limekwisha kumbe kwa hivyo ninamshukuru Mungu sana kwa ajili ya hiyo Haleluya pigie Yesu makofi mazuri Lakini nilikuwa na tatizo lingine nilikuwa nina shida sana ya ya kula kwenye ndoto Hii nayo imenisumbua kwa muda mrefu sana Lakini baada ya ya kuwekewa mkono na mtumishi wa Mungu na kuniombea Mungu amenitendea sasa hivi nimesahau kabisa Haleluya Pengine nikikuuliza swali kakangu Hii kukula kwenye ndoto imekudhuru namna gani Imeanza zamani sikuwa nina 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 ninafahamu lakini kumbe ilikuja ikaniletea matatizo mengi kama gani e, stagnation iko na stagnation katika maisha yangu na matatizo pia mengine ambayo ni ya kikazi niliyokuwa ninafanya lakini pia na hili lingine ambayo hata nilikuwa nikipata pesa zinakuwa zina azizi haz, nao tarajia lakini pia napata shida kwenye kwenye mikono ni matatizo mengi kwa kweli lakini nashukuru Mungu yote nimesahau Amen. Amen. Pigia Yesu makofi.